Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at updating and deleting to do's. We're going to make API calls to update and delete those to do's on the client. We're going to create some actions in the context, and then we're going to review the whole application and check for any bugs. So I'll switch back over to the code. This is where we left off last time. We were marking items as incomplete and complete. So I think the first thing to do is we want to wire up our delete button. So we're going to add an on click event and we're going to call a function delete to do. We then need to make this function up here. Const delete to do. It's going to be an arrow function with the event passed in. We're going to e dot prevent default. And then we're going to make an, uh, in fact, we're not, we're going to do if window.confirm. So there's going to be a confirm message pop up um, and to ask for confirmation about deletion. So um, in quotes, I'm just going to put, are you sure you want to delete this to do? So that's going to be an if statement. And if they accept that pop up, we are going to do an, a delete request. So axios.delete. I'm going to use template literals. So backticks forward slash, I'm going to make a call to forward slash API forward slash to do's. And then we're going to pass in the to do dot ID. And then on the dot then, we are going to, in fact, we don't even need to pass anything into to the dot then. We are going to call an action on our global context, remove to do, and we're going to pass in that to do item. We haven't yet created that, so I'm going to comment this out. And then going to go to the global context. And we're going to create a new action. That new action is going to be called remove to do. And we're passing through the to do item. It's going to be an arrow function there. And we need to work out what list to remove it from. If it's, an, if it's a complete um, to do, we need to remove it from the complete to do's. If it's incomplete, the other way around. So if to do dot complete, so if it is complete, we're going to dispatch a type of set complete to do's. The payload there is going to, we're going to filter out the current to do's. So ooh, payload is going to be state.complete to do's.filter. And then we're going to filter out the complete to do. So we're going to make sure that the, any complete to do is not equal to the to do dot ID we pass it. Oh, the complete to do ID is not equal to the ID of the to do we're trying to delete. So that's going to basically uh, return and return any complete to do which is not equal to the to do we pass in. So it's going to remove that from the array. And we want to do the same if it's an incomplete. So I'm just going to copy and paste this set incomplete to do's. And then we're going to map through the the incomplete to do's. And I'm going to change these words here to incomplete and incomplete there. We then need to pass that to the value, remove to do. And then inside of our to do card, we can import that function, that action via the global context. So remove to do. And we can and comment our line here, and we can give it a test. So if I delete the uh, wash the car, we're gonna get a pop up saying, are you sure you want to delete this to do? Click OK, and it's deleted. I'm gonna refresh the application, and we can see that the API call was made correctly, and it's deleted that too. If we do it from the incomplete, so do homework, remove that one, it also deletes it there. So if I refresh, all working fine. <clears throat> okay, so the next one we need to wire up is the edit function. So at the moment, we've just got it where we can edit it, but we can't, our save button isn't wired up in any way. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function here. And that new function is going to be called const, uh, it's going to be called edit to do. So const edit to do an arrow function. It's going to have an event pass through to it. E dot prevent default. And then we're going to make an axios dot put request. We're going to use template literal backticks again, forward slash API forward slash to do's forward slash and then we're going to pass in the to do ID. And then the data we're going to pass through is going to be an object. And it's going to be just the content we pass through. We can then make a dot then. 
and then we're going to make use of res with an arrow function there. And then with the res, <clears throat> we're going to call an action update to do. We're going to pass res.data through to the data we get back from the API. And we're going to set editing to false. So it's going to stop editing. And then as a catch, if something goes wrong, if our validation doesn't work, we've got validation on that endpoint. We don't care about whatever the error is. I'm just going to set stop editing. So that's going to cancel the edit. edit. That's our function up above here. So we're getting an error message at the moment telling us the update to do is not defined. We know that. We haven't um, yet created that action. So I'm going to comment that out for now. I'm just going to wire up the button. So the uh, save button here on click edit to do. And then we are going to go to our global context. We need to create a new action and that new action is going to be const update to do equals to do. So we're going to pass in the to do. And then we need to check. So again, we need to check where the, so basically what we need to do here is we need to map through the current to do's we need to remove the old version we've got in the state and we need to replace it with the new version that's returned from the API. So um, it's similar to above. We need to kind of find out what list it's in, list it's in whether it's in the complete or incomplete list. Um, but we can't filter out like this uh, because we need to filter and replace. We need to replace the item at the same time. So if to do dot complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new complete to do's array. And that is going to be state dot complete to do's dot map so what we're going to do is we're going to map through those map through um, our complete to do's and what we're going to do in that in this map is we're going to have a look for if the complete to do id is not equal to the new to do ID, then just return that complete to do. Otherwise, we don't want to return that complete to do. We're going to instead replace it with the new to do. If we then, uh, so we've now got our new to do array. I'm now going to dispatch a type of set complete to do's. And the payload is going to be our new array there. So complete set complete to do's. And we're going to do the same down here. But this time with incomplete to do. So const new incomplete to do's. I'm going to map through. See it dot incomplete to do's dot map. It's going to be an incomplete to do. And we are going to check that this incomplete to do ID is not equal to to do dot ID. So the new to do ID, if it isn't equal to the new ID, we return that incomplete to do. We want to keep that to do. Otherwise, we want to replace it with the new to do. And then we do the same thing here where we dispatch type of set incomplete to do's. And the payload there is going to be a uh, new incomplete to do's. Okay, so we're now going to pass this a new action we've made to the value here. So update to do. We're going to go back to our to do card here. And we can comment out this line here. And we should see update to do is not defined. So we're uncommenting the line. We need to pull that in, that new action in from the global context update to do. And then what we're going to do is going to edit this. So do the dish. I'm going to edit to hit save. And you can see that it just went out of editing mode and it's now saved the uh, the new version. So if I refresh the application, we can double check that it's made it to the database. It's not just our state doing that. It has indeed. So I'm going to rename this gibberish to do my homework. Save it and it's saved. So I uh, and we don't have an edit function on the complete to do's because I just don't think that's necessary there. So do my homework and then you can see you can still move them across and it's all working fine. 
So that is the application in its finished state. We have uh, a number. Of, yeah, we have a number of things going on there. We got we've got all of our. We can edit our to dos. We can update our to dos. We can save them. We can mark them as complete. Um, we can do loads of things. We've we've basically got it ready and in a state um, to actually fully test this um, this application now. So let's make this bigger. Let's go through and try and register. So let's get rid of this autocorrect or autocomplete. Matt the dev. Matt at the dev .com. That's a fake email, obviously, but I'm going to test it anyway. Password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we register as a new user. We get our insecure password seeing as I've set it to something one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's not save that. And we can then start creating to do. So do the dishes. Do my homework. Wash the car. Okay, so we can mark them as complete. We can mark them as incomplete again. So let's leave that as marked as complete. Do the dish. I can edit them. And then I can also delete them. Perfect. And if I log out and then log back in with matt at the dev dot com. One, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, log in. We then get back to our persisted to do's. So I think that's the application all in fully working order. I can't find find any bugs at the moment, but um, if you guys do find any, leave it in the comments below and I can make a follow-up video um, of what we can do to, a, to to fix those bugs. But we're now into a state where we can start considering um, moving this whole application onto a... We can look at deploying the whole application. So we are going to deploy this onto Heroku um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So thanks for watching this lesson, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.